Hello, welcome to Kindness Crafts, brought to you by Community Roots, a community garden run by Norfolk and Waverley Mind in the heart of Great Yarmouth. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own seed form, like this. This is what you need are some seeds. Today I've just got a selection of different seeds that are attractive to bees and pollinating insects. For example, salvia, some wildflower mix, red clover, borage, poppy mix and some French lavender. Um, today we'll just use, as our example, we're going to use just the wildflower mix. The other things that you're going to need are some compost, it's just normal multi-purpose compost, and some clay. And that's it. Get your compost and put your seeds in. So a bit of compost. Already well, got some seeds in here. Put these ones in, put some more. So, put the whole packet in. Fix it up. And get your clay. So, some people use clay from their garden in a clay area. Or you could use powdered clay. What we've got is normal clay for modelling. This isn't air drying clay, this is just normal clay. But a um, bit, bit of clay, flatten it out. Hold it in your hand, slightly cupped, and get some of your seed compost mix. Put it in. You won't need much, depending on the size of your clay. And then pinch, pinch it all together to make a little ball. Roll it out. And you can put it in a, a storage, put it in an egg carton. You can label, if you've got different seeds, you can label them on the top. So I'll put wildflower mix on here. And that's it. When you're ready to plant your seeds, when you're ready to plant your seeds, you can um, put them in a pot. So break it open, make sure you water them, or it's a seed bomb, so you could throw it at your flower bed, let it crack open, do it on a rainy day and it gets enough moisture, or give it a good work water where it's broken open, and you should get lots and lots of seed, lots of flowers coming up there um, that are attractive to the bees and the pollinating insects. There you go.